Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got something new today. Well, not new to me and certainly not new at all, but new to you guys. Uh, you've heard me talk about it a couple times in the past and uh, it's my 88 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. Um, I bought this from a buddy of mine last September and uh, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy hates this car, but uh, I love it, man. It's like a throwback to the last of the last of a good era of cars, you know, square bodies and full frames, rear drive, V8, you know. This platform that's under this car is what started what they call the Panther platform uh, chassis. And this chassis with minor and major tweaks made it all the way up until the end of production with the Crown Vicks that we all know and love, you know, the ones that Cletus buys all of and, you know, puts them out there on the racetrack. But anyway, this is where they started. So what the story is on this car is I bought it in September, 2022, and I brought it home and I, uh, it stayed on my trailer for probably a couple of months. So when I took it over to my dad's shop, it, it needed a fuel tank, a basically an entire fuel pump hanger assembly and the fuel level sending unit was bad and I, my goal back then was to get the car running just enough to drive it from my dad's house to here which is literally right around the corner and park it and then we were going to build the mustang and that's exactly what we did i just didn't want the car sitting here um, and having to push or pull it around or whatever if we ever needed to move it, which I really do need to move it because my junk trailer there is getting kind of full and I need to empty it out. And the car kind of has it blocked in a little bit. Um, but anyway, one thing led to another and this car has basically been sitting here since uh, the last week of December. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm hoping I can get it to run again. Uh, it kind of barely ran before because, I mean, it had been sitting years and years and years before. Unfortunately, one of my tires has leaked down while it's been sitting here, so I'm hoping it'll take air. These things are pretty dry rotted, as you can see. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> That's not good. That is not good at all. Lift it in the air a little bit. Oh boy, uh, crap. Uh, whoops. Okay, right there. I just wanna lift it up and take the pressure off of that tire. See if we can't get it to reseat that bead. My jack just buried in the mud, great. It's been raining here all week long. Hey, look at that. Here we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Good. All right. First order of business is to uh, see if we can't get a battery in this thing. And I really was not thinking whenever I parked my trailer this close to the car. I can barely get in. Okay. Man, it is hot in there. Whew. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take the battery off of my trailer here. Um, I keep a I keep a battery on the trailer to operate the winch. Good old super start. Let's see if she'll do it. Let's see here. Ooh. There we go, let's cinch down. That's good. And a negative cable. Let's hope we don't have a fire. Okay. Good. Oh dear lord, it's hot in there. Whew. All right. Let's see here. We got a buzzer. Fuel pump. That's good. Maybe want to try to prime that a once or twice more. Oh, are you kidding me? All right. 
not hitting on all cylinders, but I can tell. And the windows don't work. <sighs> it's really going to limit me to a very short test drive of basically from here to the driveway. Because <laughs> I am definitely, definitely not taking this thing for a cruise. And if I remember correctly, this thing had a pretty bad transmission leak, so I'm not sure it's going to grab a gear without me putting some fluid in it. Hey, it's trying. It's trying. Hope I didn't leave anything up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to need some fluid. It's just going to leak right back out anyway, so I'll just put this in there and it'll make it drive. All right. Let's go. Hopefully. <laughs> Jesus. It's hot in there. There we go. <laughs> Open the doors. Let some of this heat out. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a little walk around the car here. Um, when I first bought the car, the radiator was bad. The end, one of the end tanks had blown off. Uh, so I bought a new radiator, put in it, new belt, uh, new brake master cylinder. And I think that was about it. I think that's all I needed to get it to just drive well enough to get home. This is, uh, this is not high performance by any means, but I do have some high performance parts I can put on it from an Explorer, and I may do that just to have some something fun. Uh, body is very, very dirty, as you can tell. And believe it or not, that's just happened since it's been sitting here since December, except for this. Whenever I bought the car, it was totally, totally covered with pine needles. And uh, there's some of the remnants of that. Interior is dirty, but overall fairly solid. The dash is, eh, you know, but uh, I have seen worse, that's for sure. And uh, look at here. Ooh! <laughs> Let's cover that back up. Headliner, eh, it's there. It's okay. Needs a little bit of help back here in the back. Uh, not too awfully bad. Just overall, the car is just dirty. It needs cleaning. And uh, we're going to do that today. I wonder what Derek Berry's doing today.
he's probably doing a whole lot more than I am, I can tell you that. All right, got the fire back up. Eh, it looks a lot better, even though it's still wet. Um, but you can see that darn thing is just, it's just sitting there, shake, 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 shake. It's got a little bit of a misfire. Not sure what's going on, if it's just a bad plug, bad wire, something. Something's going on. Uh, we'll dig into it a lot later, but for right now, I just want to get the car clean. It already looks a whole lot better. It's not going to be perfect, but I mean, it is what it is for an old car. I wanted you guys to see something. I know you're going to see my shadow. Hey, but uh, look at this tire. This is this is wild. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like I, I don't know of any bugs that eat rubber, but I'll be doggone if that ain't what it looks like is going on there. How crazy is that? If any of you guys know what happens there, or if any kind of bugs <laughs> like to eat rubber, let me know. Um, I'm in the southeast and I've never seen anything like that. I want you guys to check this out. I don't know what these things are called here, but they come off of a tree. But if you look inside of there, look how many of those things are piled up in there. Wow. <laughs> look at all those things I got out of there. And that's just the ones I could get to. Wow. They are everywhere. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to come back out here first thing in the morning and start tackling the interior, get it cleaned all out best I can. And as my luck would have it, the car won't start now. <laughs> uh, don't know what's going on. It smells like it's flooded bigger than crap. But um, anyway, uh, hang out and I'll see you in the morning, which for you guys, it'll just be about a second. guys I don't know how much filming I just did with no sound <laughs> uh, I'm still learning but anyway I got the car fired up finally uh, put a little gas in it and uh, I don't know if that was the issue or what because it really didn't want to start right after I put the gas in it but the fuel pressure did climb so anyway it's running again thankfully uh, gonna finish cleaning the inside of it out and uh i guess i'll take you guys along for that ride so hang out you know if i was a smart person which we all know i'm not i would have taken this off before i vacuumed this side but well you guys know the drill so uh, wendy's gonna do her best to take it off and i'm gonna finish cleaning up on that side of the car and we'll tackle the mouse nest in the glove box there and uh, get the dash wiped off and the rest of it all cleaned up so <sighs> all right Dirty, dirty, dirty. Oof. But the carpet is coming clean. The seats are coming clean. Old school spill your drink cup holder there. I found these, by the way. I found these on the back deck of the car. They're safety glasses, and only one of the little lenses is still in it. And you might wonder where the other ones are. Uh, this is them right here melted completely completely out of them 
that's that got hot. isn't all that bad but there are some mouse turds in here and not only just mouse turds moldy mouse turds <sighs> Okay, for the moment I've been dreading the most. Okay, you. Uh. Sarah, come here. Okay, good okay. Would you like a mouth nest? Would you hand me the vacuum, please? Hey, Biloxi, Mississippi. Woo Best Western. Uh, Not quite the Boer of ours, but you know. A revolt, bow revise, however you say it, bow revise. <laughs> guys it's Monday evening uh, yesterday when we were working on the car uh, it came up a pretty bad storm and basically it just we just threw everything in the garage you can kind of see everything just piled right there inside the door but uh pretty rough storms last night people north of us got it pretty hard um, we just got a bunch of wind and rain uh, but anyway I wanted to show you guys the car turned out pretty nice you can still see my fuel pressure gauges in there and it's still holding what is that 22 psi i think but anyway um the car looks fairly nice the interior turned out great i mean like i said there's there's a little bit of fade going on the dash isn't too terribly busted up but the seats came pretty clean wendy did an awesome job on this steering wheel because i'm here to tell you it was nasty with the old leather that was on there oh my goodness it was terrible um door panels cleaned up fairly nice back seat back deck now well, see i still need to fix the headliner back here but i mean that's not too awfully bad i'd really like to drive this car but it definitely needs tires before that can happen i've got to figure out what this random no start issue is before i do that but let's let's hop in it and see if it'll start and you know for all i know it could just be completely out of gas i mean i put two and a half gallons in it yesterday but i don't remember how much gas i put in it back when I worked on it but the gauge only comes up to E so I mean <laughs> uh, let's see oh I guess I need to put the battery back in or reconnect the battery so hang on all right let's try this again fires right up isn't that crazy see where the, it must be I'm thinking it just could off could be the could be just low on fuel because I did I did rebuild I say rebuild I did 
repair the uh, the fuel level sending unit because no one makes a replacement for this car for this particular car from 88 to 91 they had their own proprietary fuel level sending unit and no one makes one so I just took mine apart cleaned it out and I'm thinking hopefully it fixed it but I mean it does move the needle some so but uh, anyway trunk cleaned up very very nice it really wasn't that bad oh, there's a little piece of I can hear that pump going anyway it cleaned up all right you know it's not too bad but anyway um like i said i got to get a handle on this random no start issue and like i said it, it could just very well be nothing but it could very well just be that i'm low on gas um maybe i'll go fill up my five gallon jug and throw it in there and see what happens see if that cures the problem but uh anyway stay tuned there's going to be more of this car but i can promise you that's not going to be some like 20 or 30 episode build build a series like the mustang wound up being I, I lost count of how many videos we did with the mustang but anyway you're going to see this in and out you're going to start seeing a little bit more of a variety of stuff on the channel now so um i've got a completely different car to feature in a video next week it's actually a project that i started that i'm i'm basically giving up on before i even really get good and started because i'm really wanting to buy myself a truck now so um anyway stay tuned next week for that but uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.